Good morning, world. I love it when biology news makes global headlines. And um, I noticed as I was reading the BBC app this morning that India has legalized gay marriage. It actually happened a few days ago. And this is a tremendous win for basic biology. Many people may not realize that homosexual behavior in the animal kingdom is ubiquitous. As someone who's literally written the book on that topic, <laughs> Wild Sex, um, I have yet to come across an animal species that does not engage in homosexual sex. So it's wonderful to see that, at, you know, at long last, many um, global entities are, are calling this okay in our species. There are three aspects to homosexuality that I just want to cover super fast. You've got another 30 seconds. And yeah, I know you do. There's homosexual behavior, which refers to copulation between two members of the same sex, same species also, <laughs> one would hope. Um, and, and that's ubiquitous all over the place. There's many well-founded hypotheses for why it occurs, um, well justified in the context of evolution by natural selection. Um, all sex is not procreative by a long shot. Okay, so that's homosexual uh, behavior. Two, there's homosexual preference, which is to say that despite the fact that there are same-sex, opposite-sex partners available to me, I would prefer to have a same-sex partner. That is also extremely common in the animal kingdom. We see this all over the place, um, from birds to mammals. Uh, we've seen it in invertebrates all the time. Um, there's a lot of really well-founded cases where behaviorally, um, certain genders or well, specific genders just get along better. Um, check out some of my seeker videos on that if you are interested further. Uh, third, there is homosexual identity, which is something that's nearly unique to the human species. We are we are the ones that need to, to own things and to, to be able to say, you know what, I am exclusively this way or exclusively that way, uh, whereas the rest of the animal kingdom is on much more of a sliding scale. Um, so I, for, for myself, personally, I tend to adopt that sliding scale uh, framework for most of my work because how can humans be all that different from the rest of the animal kingdom? Hello, we can't. <laughs> so let's just all go with the sexual fluidity idea. I think that makes sense. But yay, congrats India. And you know, I'm super happy for all of the amazing, great people that like to have sex with people that are the same gender. Win.